Hey guys, it's LSD789 with another video. I want to show you how to get the alternate ending uh, with Ladusa and how to get a mirage melee weapon. Uh, for that you need to get this cherished fracture and you need to place this in the side dungeon called Goddess Rest. And yeah, once you do that you can trigger the alternate ending. I will show you now where to go. So once you get the cherished uh, fracture quest item over here you want to go to the Goddess Rest side dungeon. If you don't have it, maybe you need to reroll, but um, it's right here, the Goddess Rest. You need to do this whole dungeon and go all the way to the end. And I'll show you where you need to place this uh, quest item. And yeah, once you're at the Goddess Rest, you need to hit five of these obelisks. So here's one. And you just need to go through the dungeon, hit all of them, and then the door in the middle will open. There we go. I'll just show one of them. Just go through the jungle and uh, you'll find all of them. So yeah, once you hit all five obelisks, uh, you go back in the middle again. You see all five uh, lights will uh, light up. Go through the door. This is how to get the alternate ending of the DLC. You place the cherished uh, fracture in here. This will trigger a cutscene. waiting for my darling Thalos. On each ruby moon he made a pilgrimage to my temple and sent all the priestlings away. The night belonged to only he and I, Thalos and Lydusa. But that night, the terrible priestlings betrayed him. They told Lydusa they would kill her Thalos if I didn't obey. So I did. They locked me in this cold, empty temple. Made me sing the stones to life. More and more, more still. Yet I obeyed. Anything to save my Thalos. But Lydusa was a fool. The priestlings had already killed her precious Thalos. They lied to me. So I shed this fragile mortal body. And I... I remember little after that. Only the screams and the wrath rattling and grinding inside. It's quiet now. But the hurt. It still hurts. My Thalos is gone, beast. What should this poor godling do? But where shall I go? Perhaps I'll find my sisters. Yes. I'll tell them of my lovely fellows, and we will grieve and dance and cry and sing. We spirits will sing of him forever and ever. I do hope you can forgive, Lydusa. She... I was not myself. I'll remove my stone touch curse from your poor, squishy flesh. Now I can leave this guild cage of cruel, cherished memories. And cherish them I will, for they are all precious. Even the cracks and shards, the broken, painful bits. And the pieces that are missing still. They too are precious, because they're me. They will always be me. And I sense something else. You seek to save something precious, too, don't you? 
I can hear it in your life song's hum. A tune harmonious with my own. This spirit of the land would aid you. I will grant you a precious piece of myself. Thank you, sweet beast. I hope you find what you seek. And yeah, now we have the Blossom Name Core. Let me see. Blossom Name Core, yeah. With this item, you can go to War 13 and turn it into the new uh, melee weapon. So I'll show you. So yeah, once you have the Blossom Name Core, you can go to what McCabe here. Now? All right then. And you get the Mirage melee weapon. Uh, bye. So let's use it. it has a sandstorm ability if you charge attack it the sandstorm around you yeah, it's pretty good see the stats maintaining an overhead charge melee attack Forms a 7.5 meter sand cyclone, dealing 55 damage per second and pulls enemies towards the wielder. Each cyclone hit uh, applies exposed for 3 seconds, max 15 seconds. When exposed is uh, the targets receive 15% more damage from all sources. So yeah, that is uh, the item you get from getting the alternate ending. Hope you guys liked the video. If any questions, write them in the comments. Which yeah, LSD seven eight nine. Hi. Out.